This is Chippy with the Acer 522. This is the uh, MD Fusion netbook from Acer. Um, I've just installed an SSD in this and I want to do a very quick uh, demonstration of boot up time. Watch my finger bottom left and we're going on. Now the post process on this is about six or seven seconds and then from there you'll see how quick it is to boot uh, Windows. Note how many seconds the actual load taskbar is up on the screen. About half a second. And we should be getting into the login screen about now. And there you go. So I think you're fine. That's about 20 seconds from scratch, which is uh, about half the time it takes to boot uh, from the standard disk, which is about 45 seconds, which is pretty fast actually to start with anyway. But um, starting apps are also pretty quick. So let's go uh, Firefox now. That's about four seconds. And that's half the time it took before. Let's do uh, TweetDeck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was loading Adobe Air and then TweetDeck on top. Well, it's not uh, too fast that one. Uh, Google Earth's pretty good. Go. There we go. That's already running. Google Earth works really well on this. Chrome. Go. That's like half a second, that's so quick. And um, what else have we got? Live Writer takes a usual little time. Go. Yeah, so that's actually a fair bit quicker than normally with, with uh, Live Writer. Live Writer. So the SSD is bringing up um, approximately a maximum 100 uh, megabits per second. I've got a crystal marker result here to show. Hope you can see this. Um, yeah, the HDD score was uh, 14,648 with a maximum read speed of 108 megabytes per second. Important thing is that the um, the low block size, the small block size reads and writes are pretty fast as well. Anyway. SSD upgrade. It's a Runcore Pro 4 in this one, which is a SSD from a couple of years ago, so not the best SSD you can get, but uh, really making a huge difference. This is Chippy with the Acer Aspire 1522.